morning vlog. Here's today's look. I am going to be doing two experiences back to back, which will be like a 13 hour day. So I am kind of set for the day. I do have my pants to match this kimono in my backpack along with my bra just in case I don't want to wear a swimsuit to dinner because I think I will go straight to dinner when I get off of the boat tonight for sunset. The accommodations I'm staying at, the guy at the counter recommended this really nice restaurant right behind Time Out Market. He said, if you don't have a budget, you should eat here. So I said, okay, as long as you have seafood. So, I mean, where I'm staying is like Louis Vuitton and Gucci is right next door. So it's a very upscale part of Lisbon. So now I'm gonna walk seven minutes to the meeting point of my day trip and unfortunately this time of the year the weather is so hot that my day trip for tomorrow to visit Pina Palace and other places in that area well Pina Palace is closed for another three more days they extended it because of the probability of wildfires so I think I'm still gonna do the experience I think I'm still gonna do the experience because I don't want to like miss out on seeing another part of Portugal. I get out of Lisbon if I can, especially if I can be like along a coastline. So I think I'm still gonna do it. Three girls already canceled, but I think I'm still gonna do it because I'm not gonna be here for me to try to do Pina Palace. So here, this is the meeting spot, and I see two people standing out there. So where are you staying? Ajuda. 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 Alto da ajuda. It's a higher, huh? Yes. How yes. is it walking back, huh? It's not. It's Amazing, good. huh? We have we've had some crazy days going up the hills, man. It's the it's the it's the, the legs, you know. It, oh. It's to, to stay fit. Yes, Boom. So that's why we're not used to it. Though. Uh, the best <laughs> way, no. You have we have a rule about that. Yeah. So but I found I found the buses. Yeah. No need buses. They have great buses. When you know about this rule, no need buses. You really? just you, yeah. No, you I just do the buses. stairs. One thing, every six stairs you go up, you can uh, six pack. You never share your own six pack. <laughs> it's your own six pack. If you want to share, you buy another six pack. Okay. <laughs> that's always the way. So basically, that's why I keep on walking. Keep on walking, guys. Yeah. Lisboa, it's phenomenal with all these hills. Of course, it, the myth of the seven hills is more than seven. Right. It's more than seven. Right. You know, basically, uh, this, this, this myth, this thing comes out. Why? Because the boats, that were coming from the river, mm -hmm. they could all... It's amazing. What do we use to substitute? That's my question for you guys. Sugar cane. No. I don't know anything. Give me ideas, guys. Give me ideas. Uh, is it artificial? Uh, no, it's... It's real stuff. Real stuff. Not real honey? Stuff. No honey. Maple mm. syrup? Not the maple syrup. Uh, the Canadians will love that. <laughs> no. <laughs> we do have a lot of maple trees, but uh, we don't have the temperatures right, to get the, right, the syrup, right. okay? But we have the maple trees, but no. Does no. it have anything to do with um, grapes? No. no. We do love the grapes. Yeah. We do okay. love the grapes. Yeah. We have a lot of wine here, guys. <laughs> wine is cheaper than water. Funny part. Wine right? is cheaper than it's water. True. It's a fact. It's a fact. Yes. No matter where you go, that's why today you're gonna go to a wine region, uh, and today you're gonna experience uh, an area that the only 40 acres in the world producing a purple grape. It's where we're going today. Really? Okay. So the wine tasting that you have, it's connected to that those grapes. Okay. So for you to see, so it's a big wine region, as all the others existing, but that one, it's a well-known one because of these 40 uh, acres, purple grape, okay? okay? But then, let's focus on this, you know, ingredient, special one that we use, substituting the sugar. What is it? Because you try, I always give 1,000 points, <laughs> but it's not that, Paul. It's not that. For the effort, good. We love the condensed milk. 
but it's not that. <laughs> what is agave? That's advanced. Jen, that's advanced. That's too much. You know, that's too much high tech. You know, too much. That's too much. That's, <laughs> that's a good one. You don't get a thousand points. <laughs> Jen, no. Hashtag no. <laughs> uh, but then today uh, we left already. We went up the avenue. Okay. Uh, try to try to reach us that way. Okay. Uh, reach us that way by message. Try to reschedule if it's possible. If not, uh, there's no other way. Okay, we're gonna rock and roll. All right, left. So we always give the tolerance of 10 minutes. It's the little ones. Yes, on I've seen it, but I was just kind of curious why you guys serve it like that. Yeah, always hashtag no sugar. Keep it healthy. Trying. So that's you know that's that's amazing. Okay? That's why that's already you know 1,000 points for all. You know, let's see. It's amazing. For the effort, my god. But you need to go deeper. You need to Is go deeper. Right? It's guys, it's love. <laughs> guys, it's love. Okay. So simple, guys. So simple. It's the most important ingredient. No matter what, you just eat love, guys. It's all about the love. We don't care. We don't care. We just don't care. It's love. So basically oh, we tackle, we tackle this. It's, it's all about the love, guys. Go to Porto, other stuff. No matter where you go, there's always different things. Always, always. We love, okay? And there's, you know, of course, you have traditions, you have things connected to it. We're gonna talk during the day. Uh, you know, there's a period uh, in our history that you may, may, may a twist and, and changed also the, the way that it was made the things that's why the eggs the eggs the use of the eggs uh, very important that's why I was asking Jen if you could eat the eggs because it's the eggs it's something very important in our um, desserts okay that's why they're very eggy eggy very very egg yolk, egg yolks of course egg yolks but then we'll talk during the day so guys it's your first time crossing this bridge okay. beautiful Welcome to San Francisco, guys. Uh, here we go. We have the bridge. Brazil. We cross. We are in Brazil. Yeah. We cross, guys. So, the bridge. Wow. Same corporation that built Golden Gate. Mm -hmm. Guys, yeah. here we go. Boom. This one is a little bit sli uh, smaller. Smaller. Right. You know, you can't walk. It's not. It's not possible to walk on this bridge. But the one in Porto, you can walk, right? You can, but that's a different one. Right, it is. It's a different one, okay? Of Architecture course. and construction. Yeah. That one is connected to Eiffel. Eiffel Tower. Yeah, okay. okay, it's different, different uh, method. This one, you have the train passing underneath. Right. Okay, it's a big difference compared with Golden Gate, okay? But then, as you know, it's elastic. Guys, this bridge is yeah. literally elastic. It's meant to dance. Uh, you can come here for the half uh, marathon or the marathon. It's the only period that you can actually actually cross running or walking, you know. Right. Uh, it's it's that. If right. you want to come. Bridge it is, right? Exactly. So you should come. It's amazing for the running, okay? The Christ you have there uh, that we say uh, Cristo Rei. Mm -hmm. Cristo Rei. In Brazil, Cristo Redentor. Yeah. For us, Cristo Rei. It was a gift from Getúlio Vargas. Okay, so Getúlio, uh, president in Brazil, offered this, you know, Christ to uh, a president that we're having here in that time, that was Antonio Salazar. Okay, it was actually a fascist period, guys. You pro do you know about this fascist period? Yes. So which year ended? Do you remember? Uh, well, it started in the 30s. Boom. I think it ended in like the late 60s. 1974. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. So it was more than 40 years of dictatorship, guys. Wow. The longest dictatorship in Europe. Boom. Antonio Salazar, very bad period. Uh, the worst. Uh, ended 25th of April of 1974, guys. 25th of April, it's the name of the bridge. Yes. Ponte 25 de Abril. Why? It's the date we ended. Because the dictator gave his own name to the bridge. 
it was Ponte Antonio Salazar. He gave his own name. This bridge is from 66. For you to understand, okay? So he gave his own name, okay? Of course, ending the dictatorship. Hashtag go like. <laughs> So, uh, and then now true fact, you, uh, true fact. Yeah, now you go somewhere else. Though, it's it's interesting. So imagine uh, number one ingredient. We don't have it here. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> number one we consume. It's not from our waters. Huh? So it's a North Atlantic fish. We don't have it. It doesn't ovulate. Never ovulated here in our waters. They're too warm for it. So it's Norway, Iceland. Norway, Iceland, guys. Mainly Norway and Iceland. So we say bacalhau da Noruega or bacalhau da Islandia. Delicious. Okay? But then the funny part, we fish it there. But then we never eat it fresh. Yeah. Do you know about this? It's always dry. Always the dry salted. Yeah. We preserve, we cure. So I can get it fresh, we can get it fresh but we never eat it fresh. It's not in our tradition. We have more than 1,000 ways to cook the bacalhau. I'm not sure, it's more than 1,000 ways, guys. It's insane. There's so many different ways. We have connection to Boston, Massachusetts, you know, uh, Canadian waters, a uh, big Portuguese communities living there, Rhode Island, you know. Yeah, we know a lot of them. <laughs> You know? Yeah, we live next to a town uh, called Fall River. Like, we're in Providence, Rhode Island, and we have some really good friends that are from the island. Madeira, Açores, yeah. Pope, and they move, their father, grandfather moved there to fish whaling, whaling, and the cod, guys. Uh, it's in, because it was where it was existing. We don't fish it there anymore. Of course, as you know, protecting the whales, and also uh, the population of cod was smaller and that's why we don't fish there anymore it's also a common name José João <laughs> or Maria Maria it's the most common for the the girls so my, my wife is Maria my mom is Maria the mother of my wife Maria so I have in my family Maria is my god but then guys my, my daughter my daughters no Maria I just yeah I have two two girls that's a nice name so I have it's a nice but I need to know so it's like Teresa, oldest Teresa, and the youngest one, Francisca. Uh, but we do have big, big names. We have big names, guys. We have very big names. You know, family. Family names always, you know, attach. You attach. My God, it goes, it goes, it goes. <laughs> a, a male, you know, uh, society. But then I'm trying to change this. <laughs> oh. That's what for Supremo, guys. Let's go for dates. You need to save this because it will be also connected to where we're going. Uh, so guys, 11.39, 11.39, the first Portuguese king, that it was not yet the king of Portugal in that time, he was trying to be, uh, his name was Afonso Henrique, he was a young kid, you know, he wanted his own independence, so in 11.39, what he did, he fighted his own mother, he fighted his mother, why, because his mother, was allied with Spain, with Castela, you know? But he wanted to break that. He want, you know, this is our country, mom. So we want to have, uh, we need to have our own independence, not connected with any other um, uh, kingdom. So there's one knight that you can always try to save his name. His name is Osberno. Osberno uh, interrupt his journey uh, to the sacred city. He came all the way from Brittany to support Afonso I in this fight. Osbierdo, uh, that it's connected to Lisboa, it's connected to Sintra. He spoke about the mountain, that mountain that it's Sintra, as you know in nowadays, about the waters of the, 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 that mountain that were used by the first Portuguese king to cure the soldiers that were fighting the Moors for you to see. Just love, guys. Just love. Good stuff, you know. No sugar, no butter, no eggs. Just love. Huh? Okay. Good stuff. <laughs> you can't do this, can you? Huh? Easy. Guys, you're gonna go for the A+. A+. There's no limits. 
It's well, gonna be the names that are hard for we me. Never <laughs> we never know. We never know. We never know. Jake, we never know. It's like, yeah. But then Osberno, it's a good name. Osberno, it's a good name. Osberno. Osberno, it's a good name. Sounds you know. Strong. Uh, Afonso Primeiro, great name. You know, great name, Afonso. Great, great name, this one, you know. Dates, numbers, numerology, always, you know. We never know. It's possible. Uh, today, guys, today, we're gonna hug a tree here. Are you ready to hug a tree? We need to hug a tree, guys, today. You know how many seconds you need to unite with one tree? Five seconds. Close. Eight seconds. Oh. Eight seconds. It's the rule of the eight seconds. Well, okay. United as one. Which tree, which tree do you think we're gonna hug today? The olive. Olive? <laughs> Not olive, actually. There's another one. There's another one, guys. Oh, the cork tree? Oh, boom. That's the one. Cork. <laughs> yeah. Cork. Cork, guys. Cork. There we go. Cork. The authentic. Cork. Cork. <laughs> cork. How do we say cork in Portuguese, guys? That I don't know. Cork in Portuguese. Cork. <laughs> Cortiça. Cortiça. Guys, save this one. Cortiça for the quiz. Cortiça. Guys, it's not, this is not real, okay? Just, okay. <laughs> this is not real. If it was... Open the back, Jacob! <laughs> it's like one. One with us. Uh, Amazing cheese, guys. Amazing cheese. You know, that's my religion. It's the Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's my religion. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so good. I start to cry. I get emotional with the Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, Cortisa. Uh, Cork. Cortisa. How do we name the tree itself? Sobreiro. Sobreiro. Sobreiro, guys. You just need to mix two words, Subaru and Sombrero. Sobreiro. Huh? Say this one for the quiz. So today we're gonna hug the tree because Portugal it's the number one producer of cork in the world, guys. It's insane. It's more than you know 70% of the world's market, guys. It's cork today here in Arabida. We're gonna be surrounded by thousands of cork tree. They're already with us. They're already with us. If you see this, this is cork, guys. Cork, cork, cork. This is all cork, guys. This is all literally cork here, guys. Cork, this one right here. Then you have the pine. This is pine, guys, pine. When you see this one without the bark, can you see? Yes. Cork, guys. Cork, uh, cork, guys. That one has been stripped before, right? Exactly, guys. Exactly. Guys, characteristics of cork. What can you say about the cork? They're good insulators. Insulator, it's good. We use it a lot in between the walls. And it takes forever to grow, like what, 15 years or so, huh? I will explain you that. Okay. I will explain you that. <laughs> so guys, other characteristics. Light. And waterproof. You have the water also. Guys, Portugal. This is something from this year, 2022. It was installed in an artificial lake in the south of Portugal. Four acres, four acres floating in this artificial lake. It's the biggest solar panel installed in the artificial lake. Yeah. Every nine years then, you can take the bark and the tree generates more bark. It's amazing, isn't it? Guys, if you use the metro in Lisboa, the seats from the blue line, some of the carriages, cork seats. Also special being here, you're gonna feel like it's your own spot. There's not too many tourism also. That's one of the beauties about this place. Uh, also, even before the restrictions about the, the fires, there were restrictions on driving here. So just with license, you can go. Guys, this property you have here belongs to the winery we're going. Okay, this one right here, right here. The name is Bacalhoa. 
Look at the size, giant. Let's go. Which kind of wine? Muscatel. It's a Muscatel specific from here, okay? Amazing. It's a fortified wine, guys. Uh, it's around 17% of alcohol. It's a rich, rich one, rich one. It's the kind of, if you drink three glasses of that one, you become a bamboo. <laughs> you know what's a bamboo? It's you without the wind. But that's, it's a bamboo. <laughs> guys, we're gonna be down there soon, okay? We're gonna be down there, guys. It's phenomenal. Look, the swallows, guys, the swallows. Guys, swallows, uh, in Portuguese, we say andorinhas. Andorinhas. Did you saw this on your heart, on your soul, about something, about someone, could be happy, could be sad, Maybe you will not see it anymore, it's like that. But you have always this feeling deep. And is on your that heart, connected to Fado? It's also connected to Fado. Yes. Okay? So that's why, imagine offering a swallow to someone, mm. you cannot, you, maybe you will not see for a while, but it's always connected to you. Mm. Okay? Save this, guys. Amazing. Saudade, okay, the word. Andorinhas. It's the plural word for the swallows. Andorinha, it's one. Okay, but then saudade, my god, that's a very strong word. Fado, mm. umbilically connected to saudade, guys. Mm -hmm. Fado, yeah. my god. So during the day today, if you want, I can give you some Fado songs. Yes. And I can explain you a little bit about Fado also. Perfect. Because you have a lot connected to us. Did you went to any Fado show in Lisboa? No, yeah, but... Hashtag no. no. Hashtag no. you need to go. Guys, but there's a lot of them in uh, Fama. So Fama, one thing. Yeah. Uh, I will tell you some spots. Not in Alfama. Uh, I will tell you some for you to know. So in, in Alfama you have one that you can go called O Corrido. O Corrido. It's a good one. Uh, you have another one in Bairro Alto that tonight, guys, tonight, not tomorrow, not Friday, but then tonight they have. It's Tasca do Chico. T A S C A D O C H I C O. Okay, Tasca do Chico. It was where Anthony Bourdain, when he came to Lisboa, Carminho took Anthony there. 